Meanwhile, a secondary fault in the SS Lucia Minor's navigation systems condemned our ship to float in a void of nowhereness for all eternity. But now you have found us. Now you can help us. We know you seek the Time Crystal. If you repair the ship's systems and set us free, we will help you. We will take care of you. Save yourself. There's no time to rescue me. 
but I've managed to change the Lucia Minus course. She'll crash into the deserted planet, destroying the Slicers and me. Now go! Before you go, quickly, Sonic the emergency life support system. The panel with the flashing lights. Quickly! Well done, you! You've got us the first time, Crystal. We just need two more, then I can escape and save the universe from the reality virus. Sounds easy when you say it quickly, doesn't it? But you know what? You managed to get something else very important. When you zapped the controls, you downloaded Emma into the Sonic screwdriver. I offered the Slicers the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay. We've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. When you were on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nanotranslator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. All the knowledge she extracted from the ship's databanks is now in her memory. I reckon you and Emma are going to make a great team. At least I hope so. If you don't, it's end of the world time, so no pressure then. I know this probably feels weird, me talking to you like this via the nanotranslator in your brain. I can talk to you, offer advice, process readings and data and stuff like that, but I can't help you in any physical sense. Soz. Activate the TARDIS when you're ready. reach our next destination for a while. Let's have a nosy around. Database on this thing is unreal. Did you know that Loch Ness contains more water than every lake in England and Wales put together? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but I bet you didn't know. The creature that lives in it, the Loch Ness Monster, is actually a reptilian cyborg from another planet, Natch. Press that button.
There are so many buttons on this thing. Go on, try pressing him. TARDIS is relaying to me, I'd say the time crystal is... Oh, you know what? I think it's in the time cabinet of the late but unlamented Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. Let's take a closer look where we are. I can't guide you this time, I've got too much to do back here, but Emma will help you. Like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to track the time crystal. Evil and me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there, evil is waiting. Good luck. Eyes on the prize, eh? Don't forget we're trying to locate Manfred Grail's house. something to open that gate. It looks like it's rusted shut. I've heard stories about the Cyber Reaper. Ghost stories, legends, warnings. It never stops upgrading itself, using parts from other Cybermen. It is literally the best of the best. Or should that be the worst of the worst?
You know what? I think it's around here somewhere. Great news! We found it! Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objet d'art. Posh way of saying he's a hoarder when it comes to knickknacks. There's all kinds of cool gizmos in here. Check out that old cylinder phonograph by the window. How do you reckon you get it to play? This is a missing. This old phonograph is here for a reason. You know sound for those machines was stored on wax cylinders? Search the room. Maybe you can find one. Must be a lever thingy to wind the phonograph up somewhere around here. There's all kinds of cool gizmos in here. Check out that old cylinder phonograph by the window. How do you reckon you get it to play? Looks like a couple of the pieces are missing.
I'm thinking this old phonograph is here for a reason. You know sound for those machines was stored still works. Good evening, my friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objets d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. Does that surprise you? It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. Many times. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of Magnus Grail and the crystal within. You've done well to get this far, mon camarade de guerre. You are brave and resourceful, and so I'll give you one piece of crucial information and a warning. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, to reach the cabinet, you must... must have its perils. <laughs> Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. It is protected. That warning I promised you. The cabinet is guarded by my angels. Although I suspect that since the changes, they may no longer be my angels. I fear they're coming will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. My final warning. Whatever you do, don't... No. No. No! Manfred dead now. Manfred big fat boy. But Angel's still hungry. Angel's still hungry. Angel's feast on you. Angel's feast on you. Angel's feast on you. Doctor's friends have gone a hunting, on to fetch the precious stones. But the angels eat your bones. You know what the scary thing is? The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Do me a favour. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. I wonder if there might be something helpful which isn't here. Yet. Hey, check out the cylinder phonograph. Try winding it up. Look at that huge painting above the fireplace. It's... yuck! Bugs!
Some of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. one. Let's try again. Whoa! Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. When I was rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that could only be activated by fire. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? Ah, uh, wrong one. Let's try again. Whoa! Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. Okay, and the next one. No, nope. the flame didn't burn purple. It must be the wrong order. Whoa! Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. Must be another book to burn before this one. I hate to ask, but you may need to start burning some of these books. Ah, uh, wrong one. Let's try again. Must be another book to burn before this one. Maybe the books need to be burnt in a certain order. Whoa! Look at that flame! I think we're on the right track. Hmm. Wrong one. There must be another book to burn before this one. Whoa! Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. 